Hi students, welcome to Science Extension and Module 1, The Foundations of Scientific Thinking. This is video number 9 and we're going to be looking at paradigm shifts. The specific learning intention for this video is for you to select one example from the following list to analyse the paradigm shift and how evidence is used to support new theories to explain phenomena and their consequences. And the four examples you have to choose from are Lavoisier and Oxygen, Einstein and General Relativity, Wagner and Continental Drift leading to plate tectonics, or McClintock and Transposable Elements, also known as Jumping Genes, Wagner and Continental Drift. Alfred Wagner was a physicist and explorer who analysed a vast amount of geophysical, paleoclimatic, paleontological and geological data to show that continents were once assembled into a single landmass before breaking down and drifting apart. Wagner's Hypotheses were not accepted for a long period of time and the tenuous nature of his theory was really a function of the fact that he had no convincing mechanism for drifting continents. And this was a major problem. Such enormous land masses, how could they possibly move from one place to another? Particularly if the Earth wasn't expanding in some way and pushing outwards, getting larger and larger as these continents moved away from one another. Wagner's evidence was about, was about jigsaw fit, trying to fit the continents back together and looking at, for example, the formation of Pangaea as a supercontinent with all of the different continents joined together. He looked at the distribution of different types of rocks and also some of the fossils in each of those rocks and he could see some consistency and you can see from the diagram here the Gondwanan southern group of continents and the distribution of different types of organisms across them. And it wasn't just fossils and rocks, it was also living organisms, the distribution of different types of organisms that we see in some of these Gondwan and continents today suggest some sort of closeness in terms of their geography some time in the past. In 1929, Arthur Holmes suggested that maybe convection currents in the mantle was the driver, was the mechanism for continental drift. But it was still the 1960s before Wagner's theory gained significant attention and we now use the theory of plate tectonics to explain continental drift and have accepted those ideas of Wagner in yet another significant paradigm shift. 